2022 seems to be bigger for Valhalla than the first year of the game, not only because Dawn of Ragnarok promises to be the size of both Season 1 expansions combined, but also because of a good amount of free content at hopefully a better pace. So let's go over everything we know so far about year 2 of the game, including the fact that New Game Plus will finally be added in 2022. It's totally one of the most requested features since day 1 and Origins and Odyssey got the mode a few months after launch. Well, for Valhalla we have to wait a really long time before we can replay the game with all our gear and abilities. Reason is, according to Ubisoft, that they don't want people to be stuck at earlier parts of the game in a new game plus when new content releases. For example, to access the Cassandra content, your settlement needs to be level 4 which totally takes some time to achieve again in New Game Plus. So if you then haven't reached that on your New Game Plus save yet, then you would not be able to travel to the Isle of Sky immediately, and I can totally see that some people would be frustrated by that. It's all still the question if they want to do a traditional New Game Plus mode, or one where we just replay certain arcs instead. What we do know is that some sort of way to replay the main story is coming, but that it will probably be one of the last things we do, you know, to sort of wrap things up and it is according to Jose the post launch producer in an interview with me. So expect it at the end of 2022 as year 2 is really the final year of Valhalla. Eurogamer also got to talk to Jose a few weeks ago and here he said that we don't want to beat a dead horse as they say we don't want to over service it. We know that we only have one year before we move on to other things. And Andy Reloads in his video actually revealed that according to the game files there will be 7 seasons planned for the game as there are files talking about the Obo reward for the kickoff of each season. If you namely go to the Ubisoft Connect reward section you find Opal rewards for season 3 and 4 as we're currently still in season 4. So it seems like we got 3 more seasons to go with season 5 for likely starting when Dawn of Ragnarok releases. Dawn of Ragnarok will kickstart year 2 of the post launch of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Besides this expansion we've prepared even more surprises for the fans of the game. Stay tuned for more information. This what Mariana, producer on Dawn of Ragnarok, said when I asked if there would be more expansions coming in 2022, something that Ubisoft actually reported themselves at E3 when Year 2 was announced. Well, this year will be a very active year for the game. We're already working on more expansions for next year. So I totally think that another DLC, maybe in Muspelheim, is in the cards. I would say around summer 2022 with then a ton of free content in between. So let's look at what we know about the free content so far. Of course, if you like the Valhalla content here on the channel, then leaving a like on the video would really, really help me out. And subscribe for everything as a screen if you haven't already. And I'm doing a giveaway, by the way, for 2300 helix credits and a link to that is in the pinned comment. I'm surprised that we haven't seen the second drop of the mastery challenges yet but we do know that it's coming where we then finally are able to get the armor set Hilderun promised us and also figure out what is going on with the weird fault or cave near our settlement. We will likely be able to interact with the three portals that could stand for the three play styles we also saw for the first wave of the mastery challenges and good to note is that we should expect minor tweaks to the formula compared to the first drop but they won't be easier. I personally think we will see this in the next update around late January, the final patch before Dawn of Ragnarok, but we have no concrete info on that yet. The Tombs of the Fallen will also see a continuation as the content now kind of left us in the dark after the first drop and there are still two Odin rune locations that did light up after the recent patch but that we cannot interact with yet. And we of course had these weird artifacts we could grab but still not really use. And it's kind of a prediction, I would not be surprised if we saw another round of river raids but then in the mythical realms comparable to what we saw in the second drop where they included areas in Frankia and with druid enemies from the season pass content. So. I think that will happen again in 2022, but then in Sword of Heim and maybe another mythical realm. We can't give too much of the details right now, but there will be another game mode introduced sometime next year. Jose said to Eurogamer, so curious what that will be. Ubisoft also called the arena we find in the Dawn of Ragnarok as a game mode, but I think that Jose is 
talking about something else here, likely something that will be free. And by the way, speaking of the arena, my most anticipated feature of 2022, here we fight new mythical creatures and also older ones from the base game and can apply debuffs to make these fights more challenging. Well, seems like Reda has a challenge linked to this too. And he namely shared a note from the game files and of course a link to his channel will be in the video description. Tell Kara, who is by the way the owner of the arena, a till chosen by Reda to obtain a large amount of tokens of Kara and some opal. Like in a perfect world, this would be a new weekly challenge, where every week instead of killing the same enemies over and over again, we do a challenge against mythical bosses with certain debuffs selected by Reda. I would love that. So curious how that shakes out. We at least know that new Reda contracts are in the works. We saw one already added recently, but references to multiple missions have also been found. Like I really hope that Dawn of Ragnarok means a full refresh of the current system, that they also improve the items we can actually earn here, because new ways to earn Opal are not as exciting when the selection each week is still really bad. We'll of course be following it here, impale Reda when needed, and and also ask Jose about Reda when I get the chance, hopefully soon. But next to the Reda system, Ubisoft also has been toying around with more meaningful connect challenges each first day, not talking about the unlimited tattoos, but the Basim sword that out of nowhere was added recently, for example. Or the unicorn mount that came out of nowhere. We also now have files hinting at a uni pair, which should launch at some point in 2022. Yes, please. Or the Ezio Revelations outfit we are all waiting for. So I totally think those will be rewards for upcoming Ubisoft Connect challenges. So I totally expect more of these moments where we as a community come together in between updates and then in like three hours get some really cool unique rewards. In terms of other gear, we know that Kira swords are something we can expect in 2022, even as a new weapon type, where maybe we have to combine the two blades for some special moves. I'm really curious about that. The pull arm style Ed gear will be the new weapon type in the Dawn of Ragnarok, but there will likely be more weapon types coming, or at least one of them. I think the two-headed mace makes a lot of sense, but I hope they can also surprise us with something we don't see coming. We're still promised at least one free sickle sword, which I'm sure we're gonna get in 2022, similar to the scythe we got during the recent festival. And actually during the Wild Hunt festival, you could play with two sickles for the first time without owning the Wrath of the Druids DLC. And looking at the fact that the Yule festival is now back, it's still not working at the time of this recording, but that should be fixed in the coming weeks. Like I totally think that all the festivals we had in year one will be returning in year two with some new cosmetics we can earn in the festival shop and hopefully and likely there are still some secrets that we don't know about maybe another crossover story event but this time with origins as i talked about in my origins video going over the update we can expect for that game in 2022 like i would actually be shocked if we do not see a new area added for free in 2022 similar to the isle of sky which was totally the most successful update we had for valhalla in 2021 we know that ubisoft is looking into where Wearing a hood during combat, which is already possible via mods, as you see right here. So hopefully they implement it for real soon. And we will likely get ongoing improvements to the stats to make them more impactful, which we've already seen during year one. And we can expect more stealth improvements as well. I'm personally optimistic also because Valhalla is in a way better spot right now than it was around this time last year. So they can way more focus on improving the game instead of fixing the game. So that should help I think year 2 as well. And actually just now Darby confirmed that he will be part of year 2 for Valhalla in some way too. So that promises at least some interesting lore and story content. Maybe involving Basim, which was teased for year two by Jose as well. But we also have to wait and see because we've never gotten a second year of content for an Assassin's Creed game ever. So that will be very interesting and I'm also curious what the Valhalla focus means for other AC games. Like not only talking about Odyssey that of course got an update as well. Will we see more in 2022? And what is next for Assassin's Creed in general? Or will 2022 just be Valhalla? Or do we get an AC1 remake or free-to-play game? Whatever. 
I'm just overall curious what the future holds. And I'll of course be covering the full year two of Valhalla here and on my second channel Assassin Raptor, link to that in the pinned comments. Just subscribe to this channel and that channel to be up to date on everything. A like on the video would really help me out. And if you want to know more about the Dawn of Ragnarok specifically, then totally click the video that you see right here with exclusive info from my interview. I hope you have a great new year and I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.